Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, whenever you're seeing this. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a very vlog style what I eat in a day video. Just bring you along for my day, but mainly what I'm eating today. I am actually getting the kids breakfast this morning, but I put in the air fryer some mini corn dogs. Um, the girls, uh, the two oldest girls, wanted those for school today, so I ended up cooking those in the air fryer and then putting them in their little thermoses and sent that with them for lunch. We made some toaster strudels and um, French toast sticks, which is pretty typical breakfast around here. And then I am filling up my water for the day. I do this first thing in the morning. And then I'm also making my coffee. I have the Nespresso Virtuo next. Um, and I honestly change up my coffee pretty often. Like I'll do my coffee a certain way for a few months and usually I'll change it up. But I've been loving this way lately. I'll use a um, pod, like an eight ounce pod. This was the Ice Forte. I add some Starbucks sugar-free vanilla. I do do a pump of caramel in there as well. I just get those syrups from Starbucks. They Most of the time they'll sell them. It just really depends on their stock. And then I add some Starbucks caramel macchiato creamer. And it is my absolute favorite lately. I have been loving this so much. Then I get the kids in the car and we are off to school. Friday. I think you're seeing this on Friday. Kettle's under the camera, so hopefully the camera's not shaky. Uh, happy Friday, uh, or Saturday or Sunday, I think. Yeah, Friday. Hopefully Friday this is going up. Um, today I thought I'd do a what I eat in a day slash vlog style. Vlog what I eat in a day, vlog style, vlog style what I eat in a day slash day in the life. I don't know. Just bring y'all along for my day and what I'm eating. I'm going to throw something in the crock pot for dinner. What, baby? This is how it goes. This is how it goes with filming with kids here. I just got myself ready for the day. I was actually just going to throw my hair up, but today is day three hair. And usually, like, I feel my best with, like, washing every third day. <laughs> so... But it actually didn't turn out too bad. I threw a few curls in it real quick. Kind of put a couple little pieces back. Okay, if you're new here, I follow the Weight Watchers program. I get 23 points a day. And I don't cut my coffee in the mornings. Um, and I fix and make breakfast. So, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for breakfast. My typical breakfast pretty much every day is eggs and hash browns. I might do something a little bit different today, but that's my typical what I go to each day. Just because it's low in points, I like to keep my breakfast and my lunch lower so I can have more points for dinner, snacks, definitely an after dinner dessert. I do that every night. I always make sure to save points for that. Um, but let's make something for breakfast this morning. I'm trying to think of what I want. I think I'm going to do maybe some toast. Maybe toast and eggs. Maybe an egg sandwich. Toast and eggs. I'm trying to decide. This bread is so good. This is what I always, well, usually I buy actually the Nature's Own. <laughs> Y'all probably see on my hauls what I usually buy. But I think this was on sale. I think this is also three points for two of them. Two slices for three points for this. It's the same as the other one that I bought. This was actually a little bit cheaper, so I got this one this week. So let's make some toast, some scrambled eggs um, for breakfast this morning. All right, so. These are my eggs this week on my grocery order. A few broke ones. Anyways, we had we actually last night had breakfast for dinner, and it was delish. That is always our go-to, pretty much every single week. Breakfast for dinner. I feel like I have hairs all over me from doing my hair this morning. I'm trying to make sure nothing gets in my food. Good job. Do you want to go pick out your clothes for the day? What you want to wear today? I'm gonna pick out clothes. All right, my toast. I'm gonna to do some spray butter. All right, so to go on it, we're gonna do some cinnamon sugar, just a little bit. Oh, careful, buddy, your feet. Let's get your feet off the counter. I don't count for this. Like a teaspoon is one point, I believe, but I don't use a teaspoon, so. Cut it in half. All right, three point breakfast this morning. So breakfast was delicious. Um, this week has been a little bit more of an off week for me. Usually, 
I'm pretty on track through the week. My birthday was this week, so it's just been a little bit more off track. Like, I, like a, we ate dinner for my birthday, and then I was like extra snacky. Like, people were, somebody brought like cookies this week, and we're just all kinds of things. It just feels like it's been a little bit off track this week. Um, but I've been on track the last couple days completely. And then today, I am going to really focus on my water. I just feel like that extra, especially being on a little bit off track this week, I feel like that extra like bloat and blah feeling. I don't know about y'all, but <clears throat> my body, when I'm, even like when I have like an off track day, when I have an off track day, I feel like the next day, I feel like I'm just extra like puffy, like especially in my face. I don't know what it is, but uh, anyways, trying to, I'm going to try to drink three of these today, which would be almost a gallon. So these are 40 ounces. These are the Stanley cups, which I, I use this every single day. I don't even use any of my other cups anymore. Um, but I'm gonna plan to drink three of those, which is, like I said, almost a gallon. The girls have been playing in here all morning. His room's a mess. Um, I'm gonna get him ready. I got this little cute outfit at Target last week or whenever it was. I think that's so cute, I haven't worn it yet, so. Let me go find him and then we're gonna get him ready. Let me show you your smiley faces. Ooh, don't wear that. Say cheese. Okay. Is that smiley faces? Okay. I like it. You feel so cute. Look, show how cute you look. Say cheese. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and put our dinner on in the crock pot. So we are going to do Mississippi chicken for dinner. I do Mississippi roast a lot, and that's what I typically do. Um, I just really love the taste of roast. However, it's been so long since I've actually made Mississippi chicken. It just sounded really good, and it's obviously lower in points. So I've got about two pounds of chicken breast here. This is super, super easy. Minimal ingredients. We're gonna do a pack of this brown gravy mix, or you could do, a lot of times I do the Aji gravy, but this is the brown gravy. We're gonna put it all over top. And then we're also gonna do a pack of this ranch seasoning mix. And next we're gonna do probably five or six of these pepperoncini peppers. I'm gonna pour a little bit of juice. Yes, ma'am. Hot chocolate. All right, so I'm gonna cook this on low for seven to eight hours. I'm gonna start with seven. So a lot of people with the Mississippi roast or Mississippi chicken also add butter. Um, most recipes also call for butter. I always omit that because I don't want to add those extra points. Um, so I usually don't do butter in mine. So. Anyways, I love that this is zero points versus with roast, you're having to count it, but with chicken, chicken breast is zero points when we watch yours. Okay, so now I'm gonna get started with my lunch. The kids are somewhat occupied. Uh, we're skipping nap time today because Millie has dance. I tried to get Callan down for an early nap and he just was not having it, so I said, maybe he'll take a car nap while we're doing dance. All right, so we're gonna do, if you saw my last video, I've already seen this, but I ran out, so I've gotta make more. Um, a serving of this, I'm actually going to cut, so a serving of this, um, we, I'm going to cut down the ingredients a little bit to save a few of those points. Alright, so a serving of this is, um, two points. So I've got three Laughing Cow Cheese Wedges. I got these this time. We're going to do a serving of Velveeta Shreds, which is 28 grams. All right, we're gonna do two tablespoons of the Bullet House Farms ranch. Then we're just gonna put as much of this red hot sauce as I want. We're gonna give all this a good mix. This is just rotisserie chicken. When I got it yesterday, while it was still warm, I went ahead and shredded it. All right, so I'm gonna stuff these. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plan over the next few days to have three servings of this. And three servings of it would be two points per serving. Mom? Yes? I, I can't even see these. Okay, I'm gonna go turn it up. I think I turned it down 
while I'm filming. Give me just one second. All right, now I'm just gonna spray my pan just a little bit and heat them up in here. So then what I've been having to go with it, I've been taking my popcorn bowl. I'll try to remember to leave this below. I got this off of Amazon. The brand is Cuisinart. It is so great because um, on Weight Watchers, air popped popcorn is zero points, um, which is really nice. So I'm gonna take some popcorn, um, maybe like a few tablespoons in the bottom of this. And then I'm gonna pop that and then I'll add these to it, which these are also zero points. Cal just brought the step stool in here to come get a paper towel. He brought the step stool in the kitchen and set it up and said, I need paper towel, paper towel. Do you have a mess? So I grabbed it for him. <laughs> They're eating their lunch, sandwiches and strawberries and smoothies. All right, lunch is three points today. We've got our pita wrap and some popcorn. And it looks delicious. You see it? So Cal and I dropped Millie off a dance. I made a coffee before I came. I made exactly like I made it morning. Oh, I like your glasses. Those are so cool. Okay, so I made it exactly like I made it this morning, and um, so yeah, I counted as five points for my afternoon coffee. Usually that's my snack that I have. I might have something else later. I guess we'll see. Um, but, where's my glasses? Let me hold those. We drop Millie's at dance, so we're just in the car. It's so nice out today. Sometimes we'll walk around while she's at dance, but we're just, I was hoping he was going to get a nap in during dance, and he is not having it. So he'll probably fall asleep on the way home. All right, it is a little while later. I think my chicken's pretty much done. I'm going to make a snack real quick before we do that. I got my nails done. I got, when I saw the color, I thought it was a little bit lighter. I feel like I always, I get this color a lot. Um, but it's still so much better than they were. Okay. So we're gonna make like apple nachos for snack today. Um, three point apple nachos. I'm gonna cut up an apple. We're gonna do some PB2 and probably some chocolate chips on them. Um, there's so many different ways you can make it. You put like chopped up like pretzels on there, sugar-free caramel, all kinds of things you could do. All right, so let's get started. We are, you can have one Lainey. Lainey's so lucky. What's on me? What is that? I'm gonna cut them up into like chips like kind of thinner apples all right so next I'm gonna do two tablespoons of PB2 all right and then I'm gonna add one and a half tablespoons of water to this so we're gonna kind of drizzle all the peanut butter on all right and then I added a few chocolate chips so this is a three two point snack actually one for the peanut butter one for the chocolate chips all right it is I think that's the first time that I've ate this PB2 I could be wrong maybe I did it with something else I can't remember so it's been a long time since I've ate this I've actually bought that several weeks ago mm, not bad it's good it tastes really good definitely a much lower point alternative to actual peanut butter. So I'm gonna take these outside and share with the kids. Okay, so the chicken should fall right apart. I'm gonna kind of shred it up. Usually my chicken makes a little bit more juice, but maybe I should have added water. Maybe that's the stuff that I forgot. With my roast, I don't. It's a little dry. Probably should have added some water to this, but I think it'll still be good. Okay, to go along with my dry chicken, it's gonna be fine. It actually tastes really good. Um, we're gonna do mashed potatoes. We're gonna put it over the mashed potatoes. I just wish mac and cheese. Yeah, I just wish it had more of like a gravy with it. We're gonna do these mainly for the kids to have to make sure they have we have something they'll actually eat. And then I've got some broccoli as well. I'm gonna definitely have the broccoli and then whoever else wants it. I think I'm gonna do some broccoli and cheese. I've got some cheese in the fridge like I did with I think my last what I eat today video. Um, and then we've got corn on the cob. I've already got it going. Um, so we'll do that as well. 
All right, let's plate up some dinner. So we're gonna start with mashed potatoes. We're gonna do a serving of these, which I always weigh it out, which is like 100 and, did I have that right? Yeah, I don't think I had that right. Okay, 140 grams of that. Then I'm gonna grab my chicken. Place a good bit of that on top, lots of protein. I'm sure that all of y'all in the comments are gonna tell me what I need to add to it. <laughs> um, all right, and then we're gonna do some broccoli. I'm gonna just pour some broccoli out. Good serving of broccoli. And then I'm gonna do some cheese. I love this with my broccoli, it's also kind of casey. It is two points for a serving and it is so yummy with like broccoli and cheese. Very good low point WW option that you can do a lot with. Love this for taco night and things. All right, and then I'm gonna do a corn on the cob with it and I'll just spray that with some spray butter. All right. We've got five points for the mashed potatoes and then two for the cheese. So seven point dinner. And then as far as everybody else, I did make some rolls and then they'll have some mac and cheese. Um, sometimes we kind of fix a couple extra things for them, but I don't necessarily eat that. But this is my dinner tonight. Dinner was good. Uh, the chicken ended up being really good with the mashed potatoes. Of course, I prefer it if it were a little less dry, but it was good though. Um, the kids are actually outside playing with Ethan and I know until later, but until they go to bed, I'm not going to get another free quiet minute. So I kind of wanted to share what I'm doing for dessert tonight. Um, actually the same thing as I did last week. I've actually got another big box of those. The Faber one, 70 calorie, calorie brownies. These have been my favorite the last couple weeks. I've been eating two of these, heated up for about 15 seconds. Put a little bit of this uh, Cool Whip sugar, zero sugar Cool Whip on top. It is so yummy. So I'll be over like a couple points, um, which is okay. Like I always have to have my end of the night dessert. So maybe I'll just have one of those. I'll probably have two though. But I hope you enjoyed coming along a little bit for my day, but mostly what I, what I ate today. I hope y'all enjoy it. hope it gave y'all some ideas and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye.